with an opening statement, please? What a difference a year makes. Um, I can start with that. Uh, these two guys next to me, a year older. Um, five guys who are a year older from freshman to sophomore. So um, practices have gone very, very well. Um, they've been working extremely hard. Um, so I'm excited right now. We're at a good place. I like where our program is um, and where it's heading. Um, our young guys have come in. A uh, big kid from Germany, Leon, has done a terrific job so far. He keeps getting better and keeps improving. That's a good sign. Um, the other young man is Daryl Gaynor, a guard out of Las Vegas, where Rashad is from. Uh, has done a good job as well and picking stuff up. Um, it's amazing. I tell these guys, um, we had seven of those guys last year. And my head was going crazy last year. And, and uh, I think they can appreciate a little bit what those guys are going through this year. Seeing Daryl and Leon and, and uh, Evo and Danny Mahoney and Ryan Singer deal with that. So um, I'm, I'm proud of where the freshmen have come in, but I'm really excited about the, the guys returning. Um, practices have gone a lot smoother. I don't have to do a lot of talking as we did last year from the standpoint of reiterating what the drill is, what we're trying to accomplish. These guys understand what we're doing, um, whatever drill it is. Um, and they're making shots. They're bigger and they're stronger. They're faster uh, than they were last year, and they've been through the ropes. So uh, we're at a good place right now. Nobody's hurt, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, it's always a good thing from a coach's standpoint. And um, I'm, I'm just really, really excited about the season and uh, looking forward to getting underway. All right, at this time, we'll take some questions from our on-site uh, audience and the media in attendance. While questions are being asked, those on the phone can press 14 to join the queue to ask a question or to withdraw a question, you can press 13. Also, if you're following on social media, you can track the conversation using hashtag MWTipoff. And again, we'll start our first question with San Jose Mercury News, Jimmy Durkin. You obviously, when you came in last year and, and a lot of new players, uh, you knew this was, was a building project. And, um, you know, a lot, a lot of uh, promise kind of early with, with, with some close games and it looked like you guys were close to breaking through. Now that you've kind of experienced that first year, where, where do you feel like you guys are at in terms of, you know, kind of closing that gap and, and maybe breaking through in some of those close games? Yeah, that's, that's a great question, Jimmy. I, you know, we were close in a lot of games. Uh, Colorado State at home, New Mexico at home. Um, we weren't ready for that last year. These guys weren't ready for that. Um, and I think they, they got a taste of it later on as the season went on. We, we beat Nevada, with, which was our one win. And I think they understood it a little bit um, better. Uh, I just think it comes with experience. You know, there was times I was telling my staff, they're like, Coach, you know, they get upset with me or with the players. And I look out there, we'd have five freshmen on the floor. And we're going against New Mexico, who had three seniors who have played in four years of hard-fought games. And I was pretty proud of them. We're still in the game. So that was encouraging for me, from my standpoint. Um, and all I think we needed was experience with Jalen, obviously, and Rashad next to me, um, who got that experience. And hopefully that, that takes another step this year. Now it's the next step to, like you said, break through and let's close these games out. Let's win these games. So that's what I'm really excited about. And um, I think with the additions of the new guys and, and the guys sitting out last year, um, we're, we're a lot deeper than what I was last year. Coach Alex Scott, um, both Jordan Baker, Frank Rogers, transfers who sat out last year, where do you see them contributing here in your second year? Yeah, they, um, Jordan Baker transferred in from Pepperdine, 6'4 uh, guard, and then Frank transferred in from San Francisco, 6'9 uh, power forward. Um, they're going to they're gonna do a lot of good things for us. Um, they bring a lot of experience. Um, they played two years of college ball already, sat out one year, so they're older. They're more mature. Jordan Baker can score the basketball. Uh, that's what he did at Pepperdine his first two years. Uh, he's a really, really talented player. And uh, Frank brings us the size and the rebounding uh, that we need. Um, and that's, that goes part to what I told Jimmy just a minute ago. That's the depth thing. And we didn't have that last year. And uh, I think those two guys uh, will definitely step in into big roles for us this year. Dan Rica, Coach, other than the, the depth that you were talking about, in what area will your team improve most from last year? 
I just think we'll, we'll be better um, with the basketball. Uh, I was worried last year. We took a lot of threes last year. And uh, partly that was me. I wanted them to shoot the ball because I was afraid we were going to turn it over with all the young guys. I'd rather get a shot at the basket than turn the ball over. So I think this year I think we value the basketball a little bit better in practices. Um, we're not turning it over, throwing it into the fifth, fifth row of the stands, that type of thing. Um, but I, I, I'm hoping – and I, and I feel that's one area that we will be stronger at. Um, I know we're going to defend. I know we're going to play extremely hard. And we're going to rebound the basketball. Those are our staples. But the one area we have to do a better job is taking care of the basketball. And I think that we will because that's just as I tell these guys all the time, we can't take away opportunities. We have to take advantage of every opportunity we have. So I think that's the one area hopefully we'll get better at. And I think Jalen's a big part of that, and obviously Rashad is because they're, they're handling the ball a lot.